Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a new tool from Google that's kind of like Flipgrid meets Google Documents, and that tool is called Threadit. Let's take a look at how this works. It works best in the Chrome web browser. With the Chrome extension installed, it has some really neat features with the extension installed, and I'll show you those a little bit later in the video. But here I am in my Threadit account. Now I signed in using my regular Google account. You can sign in using a G Suite account or a Google Workspaces account or a generic Gmail account. Both styles will work. And you can see here we have various Threadit styles. We have a whole bunch of them here. We've got different templates for making threads, but no matter which template you pick, the functions are all the same. So we're going to start by creating a blank thread. All right, so we're gonna start our thread here by just clicking on blank. And this is going to bring up a little recording wi window. You can see, there we are in my recording window. You can see I can do a screen share with it, or I can just record using my webcam. Now I haven't hit the record button yet, so as we can see, nothing has started to record and let's give this a title i'm going to talk about bike wheels so we'll call this one bike wheels and tires and now i'm going to hit the record button all right folks in this thread we're going to talk about bike tires and bike wheels I have some right behind me here. These are Prime DB50 Disc Brake 50 carbon wheels with some Schwabel X1 tires installed on them. Although they're not quite installed yet, I haven't inflated them, but I'm going to inflate them a little bit later. They're tubeless tires, so I need to put sealant in there before I start inflating them. All right, so that's my first clip. And we can go record some more. So what's the big deal about tubeless tires? Tubeless tires don't include a tube, which means theoretically they're harder to puncture and harder to flatten. And they operate more like a car tire than a traditional bike tire. The downside is they're really hard to install. So we can see here, we've got a couple of clips and I'm going to now title these clips. We'll title them intro. And tubeless FYI. Now let's hit finish the video. And we'll see here, this is similar to Google Documents in terms of our sharing. Right now it's shared with me and I can invite other people. I can make this public if I want to as well. Or I can just do an individual. I'm going to invite Mason to collaborate on this and he can reply. Or I can say that he can only view. So Mason's going to be able to reply now to this series of videos with his own video. And if I want to, I can add a little attachment. I can also use a transcript function when I send it out, but let's add this little attachment. I'm going to say some tubeless tire tips, and I'll include a link from web webpage about that, and we'll send that off now. So let's publish that. And we can copy the link and hit got it. And now back in my Threadit homepage, we'll see that I've started this new thread. So let me refresh that. There it is. Bike wheels and tires started by Richard. Now Mason wants to reply to this. Let's bring up the other person's view. So let's say I've shared this link with Mason, or he's been invited to participate in this. 
and Mason can sign in with his Google account. And he'll be able to reply after he watches these. So he can watch these videos and then reply with his own video. And in this case here, we'll hit the reply button. And he's going to allow microphone and camera access. And this will be Mason. Whoa, those are really cool tips. I did not know that about bicycle tires. I thought bicycle tires were all the same. Turns out they're not. Whoa. And, oh, if the clip didn't load correctly, don't worry. You can just do it again or hit that finish video button and we'll see it shared with Richard and he's going to publish again he's got a link there you can click got it now when he closes out and we go back to Richard's original we'll see oh there's Mason's reply and now once the replies are there you can still go up here and you can change the access on those replies and on the thread itself. You can see I can now still make it public. I can go in and invite even more people in here. Maybe I want to invite Max to join in now and I'll do that right here. And so now I've invited Max to join in. I'll say something like, hey Max, can you give us your thoughts about this? And we'll hit save. And now Max is invited to this as well. And just like with Google Docs, you can go up here at any time and you can change that list of people and the permissions that they have. You can change them back to viewers only or you can remove them entirely as I just did right there. So next, we'll take a look at what you can do with the Chrome extension for Threadit, the Threadit Chrome extension. It has some really cool tools for use in your inbox. So with the Threadit Chrome extension installed, when you're in your inbox in Gmail or Google Workspace Mail, you'll see that when you go to compose a message, whether that's a new message or reply to an existing message, you'll see the new thread it button right there next to your send. And you can click that to create a thread directly from your inbox. And you can choose a template if you like. So this one here, it's going to be a tutorial. So I'm gonna click on tutorial. When I do that, it's going to recommend that I make these six different clips, but for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to make one short clip. Now, you can see here, turn my webcam on, but I can also turn off my webcam, and I can screen share here as well. Let's do this share screen, and I can record my entire screen, just a window or just a Chrome tab, in this case here, I'll record my entire screen. You can see I can also share my audio. And now I'm recording my entire screen. And if I toggle to a different tab, switch that up, we'll see that. And then I'll stop sharing. And when I stop sharing, I can save that video. So again, We'll hit share screen. We'll hit that record button. It's gonna record everything here. So if I go from tab to tab, and go back again, it's recording everything on my screen. You can see my webcam is there in the upper right hand corner. I hit stop. And I can record my next clip. I can do all these clips if I want to, or I can delete those. And so I'll just have that one video clip. I'll hit finish.
hit the got it button and it inserts that video directly into the email so that I can send it off and Mason is now invited to this threaded thread and he can reply to it just like the previous threaded thread. So that's my overview and introduction to Google's new threaded. You can find it at threaded.app. Give it a try. I hope you like it as much as I do so far. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.